Well, we are three weeks into 2024. Uh, how's those New Year's resolutions coming along? If you're planning to eat healthier this year, why not combine that with a goal to reduce animal abuse and your carbon footprint? Veganuary challenges people to go without meat or dairy even for just a few days this month. And Philadelphia is a great city, as we all know, for unique and flavorful and healthy plant-based dining. Our Sheila Wako takes us to two local spots to celebrate Veganuary. <laughs> On the corner of West Gerard Avenue and Hancock Street in Fishtown, you'll find Primary, a down-to-earth BYOB with a rockin' menu full of creative flavors. Owner Mark McKinney went vegan in 1990 during his anti-authority punk rock days. I mean, anything you can do to say, you know, F you to your parents or the idea of going out <laughs> for ice cream, like, screw that. So I just feel better, like, knowing I don't personally cause any harm to any living creature. Now, Mark experiments with whole foods and fresh local ingredients to bring plant-forward plates to his guests. When you leave here, I want you to feel healthy about what you just put in your body. We change the menu every couple of weeks. It's kind of based on, you know, what cool vegetables become available uh, locally. Primary's acclaimed masa ball soup is a nutrient-dense, Mexican-inspired riff on matzo ball soup, made with masa meal dumplings and a rich roasted vegetable stock. And then there's hominy and carrots and dill and cilantro wow. and onions. Those dumplings. Banging, right? They're so fun. I feel like it's both cozy for the winter, mm -hmm. but I feel like you would have this in the summer and it's light still. Yeah. It's kind of refreshing. And it's just super healthy for you. A thick slice of sweet potato cornbread is slathered with smoked shallot jam and topped with local mustard greens, black walnut vinaigrette, and torched mini marshmallows. Yeah, it's then. tangy, it's smoky, it's sweet, it's savory. It's, it's delicious. Don't skip the Yubin. Baker Street bread is filled with Yuba, or tofu skin, spiced and marinated with red beets, and stacked with rainbow chard, Ukrainian dressing, and pimento cheese from local vegan cheesemaker Bandit. It's creamy, it's drippy, it's, it's so good. And then it's crunchy on the outside. I mean, it feels like you're eating like a killer, fatty, rich uh, it does. Reuben. And all sandwiches come with a scoop of picnic-style potato salad. And I get lots of locals that come in and be like, dude, this is better than mom. So and then I know I've done a good job. <laughs> this is not me just saying this for TV. I think the Yubin might be one of my new favorite sandwiches. That's it's awesome. That is delicious. I don't take for granted for one second anyone that comes in here and spends money. I want you to feel very full and nourished and feel like you, you spent your money well. Our three slogans is love yourself, love others, and love the planet. Love food owner Sylvia Lucci grew up in Argentina, where meals centered heavily around meat. When she suffered a stroke at just 49 years old, her husband David, a chef, started experimenting with nutritious plant-based meals. They gave out samples at pop-ups and markets, and soon their soups and black bean burger were sold at Whole Foods. Now, Love is cooking up a huge menu of vegan options in Hatboro, Reading Terminal Market, and Point Breeze. It's fulfilling, it's rewarding. You don't feel that you're missing anything. David's very first vegan recipe, energy soup, is a staple on the menu. There's so many textures going on with the beans and the potatoes and the you got, quinoa. You, yeah, I, you, keep, you keep eating. That is really hearty. So is the fan favorite black bean burger. You get the sweetness of the plantains, you get a little zip from the poblanos. Yeah. That is an awesome burger. And the best of Philly award-winning Reuben. I love the tang of the sauerkraut and you get like the creaminess of the yeah. sauce and the cheese yep. and the toasty bread. I know. The Italian hoagie offers a taste of Philly while the Argentinian empanadas are a nod to Sylvia's home country. I go to the one in Reading Terminal Market and I get an Italian hoagie and an empanada to go. Exactly. I take exactly. that home and I eat this while I walk. Exactly. It works out. Exactly. <laughs> food is more than just substances. You know what I mean? You, you, food is love, food is friendship, food, food means so much. To Sylvia, eating vegan means caring for your body, for the environment, and for the animals that suffer from the meat and dairy industries. Your existence is of na it's an act of giving. Nothing gets hurt and the world gets better. When you eat, you feel like you're changing the world. Sylvia also hopes her story inspires other women. She was a stay-at-home mom and didn't start her business until after age 50. This is what I want to do when I grow up. You know, this, this is it. This is the rest of my life. You know, my kids are doing their life and now it's my time and I can change the world by the way we eat. How can it be anything better? Happy Veganuary. Bye. Thank you so much. Jin Jin. Everything's fantastic. <laughs> thank you, thank you, honey. Mm. For Philly Live. That really is. That's my favorite hoagie in Philly. Oh, good. Mm. I'm Sheila Watko. Oh.
Aw, oh, what an inspiring story. And uh, God bless Sheila because she actually brought food back from her shoot, so I too can say that it was so good. Now, Love is offering a special Veganuary discount through the rest of the month. Just say the code vote for veggies when you make an in-store order and you can enjoy 10% off your meal. How cool is that?